Hi, my name is Jennifer Krause, and I am currently seeking a position with Epic Charter Schools. Um, I work now as a certified case manager and mental health rehabilitation counselor. Um, my job um, allows me to advocate for families, um, especially at-risk children. I work with a population of ages five years to adulthood. Um, I do a lot of teaching, teaching skills that are needed in life, coping skills, social skills, hygiene, daily living, budgeting, parenting, just a, a wide variety. Um, I teach these to my clients and I advocate for them, working with them to have successful lives. Um, and I love my job. I just am I'm ready for a challenge. I'm ready to try something new, to do something new, and I have a lot of friends that work with Epic, for Epic, and I'm, I think this might be the fit for me. Um, so Epic's mission is fulfilling every student's individual potential by personalizing an education plan that focuses on school and family partnership to achieve optimal student performance. That stands out to me because it's based on focusing and personalizing an education that is for the children and that meets them where they are. Um, it recognizes that not every child, not every student learns the same way, but is capable of learning. And I believe that everyone is capable of learning, maybe at a different pace, maybe at a different level, some accelerated and some remedial. Um, but I believe no matter, you can learn. And I want to be a part of that. Um, I want to be a part of a school that is changing the lives of their students. Um, I took the grit scale and um, I was gritty, 4.40. And I guess I would agree with that. Um, I've had a lot of challenges, a lot of mountains that I had to climb, and a lot of things to overcome in my life. And I did so with sheer determination, an incredibly hard work ethic, and um, very determined. And when I set a goal for myself, I do my very, very best to achieve that. And I also set those goals for those that I come into contact with. Um, I want everyone to meet their full potential. Um, an IEP. Um, I'm familiar with IEPs. Probably not as much as I could or will as a SPED teacher, but in part of my job, I did spend time advocating for my students, um, my clients, and would go to a, a pretty good amount of IEP meetings. Um, so. Um, I understand and know that this is a written statement developed to aid students with delayed skills. And I know that this could be due to or because of learning disabilities, visual impairments, hearing impairments, emotional disorders, um, just a wide variety of reasons that a child might um, need an accommodation. Special time, this could be helping them have a little bit longer to take a test or maybe a student just can't do school all day long and accommodating them and their needs for a shortened work day or school day. Um, I know that these were gonna, they transition and that there are modifications that can be made. Um, we'll probably talk a whole um, good amount of time on IEPs. Um, on the different types of learning, wow, so on the data-driven instruction, um, I didn't know a lot about it, but, and it kind of made me nervous a little when I was reading about it because I'm not a scientist. I don't have that brain that thinks like that. However, it's observation. It's assessing your student, sometimes through assessments, sometimes through tests, but a great deal through just observing them where they are. Um, and it allows a teacher to have some feedback as to where to go from there. Um, differentiated instruction. Tailoring instruction to meet the students where they are. Um, 
This aids in improving their learning outcomes. It helps them be confident in themselves, um, increases engagement, makes them self-aware of their own personal learning style. Um, again, I could probably talk about it for a long time. My favorite, though, was personalized learning. Um, this encourages teachers to use individualized approaches to teach their students using new technology, using resources, helping the students meet their goals, um, not necessarily the goal of, their, of another child, and um, meeting them where they are. And this is creating so many new opportunities for students that they might not, um, they might not meet those goals if they were in a traditional brick and mortar school. Um, especially children that struggle with mainstream and they need just one-on-one -on -one time for themselves. Um, I truly believe in closing that personalized learning is the education of our future and I cannot wait to see where it goes and I cannot wait if given the opportunity to utilize this with my students. I hope you have a great day. Thank you.